Malachi, a rival allied with Nemesis, is besieging Lord Bramble of Goldenglade. It matters little who wins that fight, for when we arrive, ultimate victory can only be ours. Snapdragon. With your usual cunning, you have replaced Keeper Dante as the main aggressor to this land. Poor Lord Titus doesn't even know who he is fighting. I hear that Dante was driven out by a powerful group of wizards who still guard Snapdragon against the return of any evil forces. Destroying them will make it easier to challenge Lord Titus. Good Leech, I bring you tidings glad. My wizards are victorious, and evil Keeper Dante has been driven from this land. You have done well, my friend Lord Titus. Stay vigilant, and with your wizards guard this realm, lest that foul fiend should threaten you again. And for the first time, we see King Reginald, who rules over all these lands. Stonebridge. Casino. Gas trap. That coward Keeper Dante now has fled, and so I trust this land to you and give you mission to defeat the Guardian Wizards Five, and then, Lord Titus, prove me right, for evil in its glory must not fail tonight. Your creatures require a place to rest. Build them a lair. The Stone Bridge, durable and strong, it will cross lava and endure. Once again, we are immediately besieged, and once again, we have just enough creatures under our control to uh, manage to uh, subdue them. You need a prison to impound enemy creatures. You have claimed a lair. You have claimed a hatchery. There is a portal to the west, but there are also some uh, high-level enemy creatures to the west. And I prefer the sneaky route. I just go over here to the east and take out some, uh, some of the enemies before I even go over here and worry about all these people. As you can see, there's pretty much a full dungeon over here, but you don't really need all of it to defeat the uh, Lord Titus. By the way, this is Uncle Troy. Today we are playing Dungeon Keeper 2, the 8th mission, Aftermath. I don't like dwarves. Do you like dwarves? I don't think anybody likes dwarves. And we are playing the series in high definition and the proper 4 to 3 uh, aspect ratio. And that's because I want to show modern gamers just how much fun, how good looking, and how clever this game is. And even though it was made back in 1999, I think, it's the official release date, it's still a fun game even today. You have claimed a treasury. More of those stupid dwarves. Uh, your imps can take down doors and sometimes the occasional dwarf all by themselves. But the imps are mostly good for uh, claiming property, digging through rocks. And your other creatures can take down doors faster and take down imps, or take down dwarfs much faster. This is actually the second time I've gone after this particular group of heroes. Uh, the first time, some of my creatures were getting a little uh, too injured and since I couldn't afford the heal spell to uh, keep healing them over and over instead I picked them all up and dropped them off at the lair. Uh, in some maps the heroes have a place to go where they uh, you need a prison to impound enemy creatures can heal up so that won't work but in this case it did. You have taken over an enemy room. This is sick, very sick. I should really stop watching this. I really wish I could stop watching this. As 
as long as you continue to attack with all your creatures at once and make sure you never attack more than one or two enemies at a time, uh, you can do a pretty good job even with very limited uh, creatures. Once you build up a little mana, it can help out with the occasional lightning spell or heal spell, it's even better. You have claimed a training room. The casino. A most useful room. Use the lever in the center to adjust its function. Either you charm your creatures by allowing them to win, or let them gamble their wages directly back into your coffers. Or I've heard you can uh, let your creatures win, especially if you get a big jackpot winner, and then uh, let them go to the treasury and collect their uh, winnings, which means everybody that was around when they won or when they collected would be happy, and then take them off to a dark area of your dungeon where nobody's around and slap them until you kill them and knock all the winnings out of them. And that way you get all your money back, but everybody's still happy except that one creature. You have claimed a casino. Okay, listen real closely to the music in this upcoming section. Uh, the background music is pretty quiet. I'm gonna try to uh, up the volume for you a little. So years later, I'm playing a game called Freedom Force, and there's a quiet little interlude between the uh, action when your hero is supposed to be sneaking around, and I hear that exact same d d d d d d d d d d d d d. I always meant to uh, go back and check and see who did the music for Freedom Force, because if it's not the same guy that did uh, the music for Dungeon Keeper 2, Mark Knight, then I think somebody ripped off somebody. I am a sick, sick puppy for watching this. When you're reclaiming or claiming uh, enemy territory, you have to watch out for traps like that one. Um, traps, some traps, I should say are invisible until they're set off, like this uh, gas trap was. And the uh, poor imp that uh, set it off didn't know what hit him. Just blew his little, uh, little legs off. But I'm told if you have a... Uh, let's put everybody back here to heal. I'm told if you have a troll, he can spot hidden traps without setting them off. But then, who sends trolls out to patrol? Uh, you know, normally it's just the imps that are out looking around. Your casino is under attack. As I mentioned before, there are some high-level uh, heroes over to the east who will, uh, well, kill you dead, basically. But if you don't go after them, then uh, they'll only come down to you once or twice, or one or two at a time, I should say. And uh, they're pretty easy to take out with all your creatures acting in concert, and of course with the help of a little lightning. It is payday. You have claimed a bridge. You have taken over an enemy room. You have claimed a torture chamber. You don't really need these uh, areas to win. You don't need these rooms. You don't need these creatures. But 
I'm just kind of addicted to uh, torture chambers and torturing things. Your creatures are happy with your dungeon. Now, while I could go around and claim all these old rooms uh, and capture all these heroes and convert them, I think I have enough uh, creatures under my command at this point to take out the Lord of the Land, especially with that piece of that horny's talisman there. Here you can see we use the Sight of Evil spell to uh, find Keeper Dante's old dungeon heart. A mistress has become unhappy because she has no lair. taken over an enemy room. Once again, we have a high-level giant attacking uh, our casino, but he's no match for our combined forces now. We're instead focusing on the Lord of the Land, who is pretty tough, but I think we can take him. And we could wait for these uh, creatures to convert here, but I think we'll just go ahead and take the Lord of the Land on. Your dark designs will never succeed while I still draw breath. You have successfully converted an enemy creature in the torture chamber. It is payday. Okay, so as you can see, that didn't uh, work out too well. I had uh, quite a few high-level creatures, but they just weren't enough to take them down quick. Uh, we also found a hidden gas trap. And we, uh, well, just didn't make it. Uh, didn't have enough uh, mana to uh, cast heal and lightning. But we've got another trick up our sleeve. Keeper, if Horny becomes too much for you to handle, a single slap will expel him from your domain. Your mana reserves have been increased. Note that while we just summoned Horny, and Horny just defeated the Lord of the Land, he fades out before he comes back to collect the portal gem. I'm not sure exactly why. You'd think it'd be easier for him just to uh, pick it up while he's there. But I guess the uh, Horny, maybe the Horny model they're using for uh, this animation is different than the one that actually fights the battles, or this free camera thing messes stuff up. I don't really know. Establish patrol routes with the guard post. Braced doors boast a tougher, smarter design. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> well done, Keeper. Even Horny was impressed with this victory. You assembled a mighty contingent of many creatures and used your limited resource as well. The land of Sparkly Dell has found itself to be the object of Keeper Morgana's desires. We must keep a close eye on the outcome of that battle. It could prove rather interesting. So once again, we just missed fighting an enemy Keeper. Uh, got there just as the heroes vanquished him. Uh, hopefully here in the next mission or two, we'll get to go up against some enemy Keepers and have a real challenge. In the meantime, this is Uncle Troy signing off. Please have a good night.